Hi, my name is Matt Viegas. I am a second year DPT student. And so just gonna talk about my undergraduate experience at UC Irvine with the admin intern program and learning about leadership development, which is very much so an outside of the classroom experience. And it's a very unique program at UCI. I'd highly encourage any students that are there to uh, partake in it. There's an interview process. I discuss more about that in my blog and the link is in the video. But basically what I wanted to touch upon is how working with others is not an easy thing to do. That's a lesson that's hard to learn in life, but you got to do it. And in college, you got to take advantage of the opportunity to experiment and be around other people who are learning just like you, especially people who share the same angst as you, have, not having everything figured out and just trying to be more, trying to develop more, be more personally engaging, cater to your strengths and network and hear more about other people's stories and going from there. So for me, uh, it was very interesting learning more about community service because where I interned during this year-long program was at the Center for Service in Action, which is the on-campus resource at UC Irvine for community service clubs. Uh, people probably heard of like Key Club or um, Lions Leo Club in high school. So there's college branches of that, Circle K and Rotaract. And so working with those organizations, trying to develop my own programs through uh, the Center for Service in Action, Community Service Funding Board, um, really learning more about how other people interact. That is a skill you cannot gain just by being in a classroom setting. You can definitely learn a lot in a classroom setting, a lot of interesting topics and whatnot, but uh, leadership is definitely one that you have to practice. So that's basically what I wanted to touch upon with that. I wanted to keep this really short and sweet and just um, really push the college students who are from UC Irvine and watching this to look into the admin intern program. I know that's still going on because I checked the website. But for any pre-PT students who are trying to look to stand out, certainly leadership is a big thing because being a PT, you do a lot, you learn a lot in PT school. And one of the things that's really difficult with healthcare is just collaboration because everybody's pressed for time, especially with patients. And overall with patient care, the patient benefits most with a healthy team that is able to communicate in a healthy manner. And for you as a PT, up and coming PT, to just focus on your role and not command others. What I mean by being a leader is knowing when to step up and step down. So it's kind of vague. Um, I purposely leave it vague like that. If you want to learn more about the admin program, you can check out my blog. But anyways, the stories, the really cool stories. So the at UC Irvine, at the ARC and Eater Recreation Center, it's like a gym. And it's the biggest gym west of the Mississippi River. I believe that's still true. Um, it's a place where Kobe Bryant used to practice uh, when he was playing a lot with the Lakers. So I have a lot of fond memories from there. And really the biggest one was this teamwork exercise with the high ropes course. So I left a Facebook video in the description. It's really awesome, really great promo video for um, that experience. Basically, you have this helmet, you have this harness, and you're strapped to this rope, um, these cables, this safety net, and you have to work together with a group of others in order to progress through this course that's like really high. Like you have to climb ropes in order to get to the top to where the course is and 
you really have to communicate with others about when to advance, when to not. And being a PT now, I look back on it and just thinking about weight shift and everything. And the stuff I know about balance now is just like, it's, it's crazy. And it's very embarrassing when you make mistakes, which I did a lot. Um, so that's another thing about being a leader is just being able to own up to when you make mistakes because that's inevitable and that just happens naturally. And being able to take in the critiques of others with a grain of salt in order to better yourself and how you work with other people. That's something that this High Ropes course did. I'm so grateful that through the admin intern program, I got to do that twice, twice. Once with the student leader group in the admin intern seminars, and then once again with the group that I interned with at the CSA, Center for Service in Action. And those are really great people. Um, Tao, Jess, Parni, Jake, Tupton. <laughs> Working together as a team and just how we felt connected from there, but just throughout the whole year and how we're still friends now, still talk to each other. Parni, I visited her in Atlanta I'm on the west coast, on the west side, and she's all the way out in Atlanta, and I went to visit her recently. So just want to hone in, like, teamwork with this high ropes course is pretty much forced because you have to do it. And the awesome thing is how in the end there's this nice hydraulic zip line, and so you, like, go down in style and just finishing up there. And lastly, the Dalai Lama. Um, so this is really embarrassing, but through that admin intern program, I got free tickets for when the Dalai Lama went to UC Irvine to speak at the Brent Event Center, a big, big area. And I actually got two tickets. I actually got another one, I believe it was through the student government and I didn't know which was which. I had a friend who wanted to attend also and I accidentally gave her the wrong one. I was supposed to sit with the rest of um, the students that were part of the admin intern program, but I accidentally ended up um, going through the other one that I got through the student government. And so being a college student and all, going through all those stresses of, studying for exams and whatnot and not sleeping much, I fell asleep while listening to the Dalai Lama speak. It was an interesting talk. He was speaking about compassion. I feel bad because people fly in from all over the world, all over the country, just to hear him speak. And what he said was really interesting. Just be compassionate. Like, all in all, it was... It was that simple his message but he was extending it to other examples um, I'm not gonna get too into it but um, just like not trying to judge other people and just be compassionate no matter who someone is but that's all for this week um, I didn't do one last week because I had an exam for peds unfortunately I got an A in that so what I'm going to do from now on is do these sort of blogs, vlogs every other week uh, since I have some other commitments going on. But anyways, thank you very much for those of you who are tuning in and I hope to catch you next time and build this up for the future. So I'm really glad to finish out my blog vlog series on like my college undergraduate experience and start to talk more about other things that you probably find it interesting like PT <laughs> the thing that I've been eat sleep studying for the past you know who knows how long but anyways thanks again for tuning in and I'll see y'all next time